what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Benjamin Crump, the attorney for George Floyd, the latest black person to be murdered in cold blood at the hands of the police says that this latest case proves that it's open season on black people. Benjamin Crump was on TMZ talking and he said that once someone asked him, well, Ben, you're not saying that all police officers are bad, are you? And he said, well, you know, you're not saying that all black people are bad, are you? He said, because most of them are good, but you can't tell by the way the police handle black people, the way that they're out here slaughtering black people. Now, the mayor for Minneapolis, he appeared to be sincere with his outrage. He said that the officers who were on the scene with the killer number one, the one who put his knee on his neck, says that they failed the most basic humanity or human, uh, they failed in the most basic human sense. And that is when people ask for help, you're supposed to help them. But those clowns stood by and did nothing. They are equally complicit in the murder of George Floyd. So, look, everybody has seen the faces, the murders. So many, so many murders, so many people. Benjamin Crump has represented a number of those people who have been, where well, he's represented the family of a number of people who have been killed by the police, including uh, Trayvon Martin and recently Ahmaud Arbery. Now, I heard somebody say, well, well, Benjamin Crump, he ain't no good. I mean, he didn't get justice for Trayvon and he didn't get justice for this person and that person. What you have to understand, fam, is that Benjamin Crump is a civil rights attorney. He doesn't do criminal law. His job is to make sure that the family gets financial justice. And in any way that he could help or he can assist the, uh, the attorney for the family who was going after uh, well, actually, if, if it, there's any way that he can assist the prosecutors, then he does that. But his job is to go and get financial restitution for the loss of life for the survivors. That's his job. And, you know, you got to give him credit for that because he does it well. But this is cold blood, man. It's cold-blooded, man. They took this dude's life. This dude literally begged. He said, please, please, please. He said, You're they're going to kill me. This devil put his foot on this man's neck and kept it there for eight minutes. He cut off his air until he died. He not only need to be brought up on silver charges, firing him and the others isn't enough. All of them need to do time. And I would go even further and say that the one who killed him needs to get the death penalty. The one who put his foot on his neck, in fact, give him all the death penalty. That's how they do us. If you're a civilian, and someone gets killed in the commission of a crime and that crime is a 
uh, a first degree or if that crime uh, warrants the death penalty, then everybody is eligible for the death penalty. So give them all the death penalty. That's what I say. No more talk. What the haters talking about? Yeah.